Today we are gonna go over a simple tool that will make the organization of your code way simpler and optimize your code at the same time. This tool is called Interfaces. So let's jump into it. The best way to explain Interfaces is just to illustrate it. So I created a new script. I called it I Can Be Hit. The naming convention for Interfaces is a capital I at the beginning and then what the scenario is following for the name. I changed the word class to interface and I created one function in it. This is a void take hit and it reads in a hit spot that is a vector three. Do note that at the end there is a semicolon rather than open closed curly braces like you would have in a normal phone. And that's your interface, it's created. We don't have to do anything else. Now we just need to implement it. So what I want to happen is when I swing with my spear, if I hit the brazier, or if I hit the projectile that the mouth spits at me, different things happen. So let's plug that up. First for the brazier, we need to add after mono behavior, a comma and the name of our interface, I can be hit. Then we create a function that mirrors the function created in our interface. So in my case, it's void take hit and it reads in a vector three hit spot. So in my brazier script, I've got a public void take hit that reads in a vector three hit point. Then I do whatever I want to have happen. So in this case, I make a particle effect appear at the hit point with no rotation. Created a variable to just hold my particle. We go into our projectile and we implement it there. So again, we will add a comma and then the name of our interface after the mono behavior. Then we add this function again, public void take hit, spelt the exact same. I do whatever I want to happen. So I spawn my particle and I destroy the projectile. The last step is to call it. I have mine called inside of my player hit script, my thrust attack script. This is just where I do my attack you would have it wherever you want to call it. My collider right here is how I use to detect if I hit anything. I'll link that video in the top right. This is the important part for us. So rather than instantiate a particle when we hit something here, we are going to create a new I can be hit variable called hittable. And we're going to set it equal to getting that component off the thing we collided with. So we're going to look for our enemy to have an I can hit be hit component. So in our case, that's either going to be a brazier because it has the I can be hit component right here, or our projectile, because they have it right here. Then we are going to ask if our hittable does not equal to null. So if it has an I can be hit component, this is just a safety check to make sure we don't get any null references. We want to access that component and make it take the hit. Then we feed in a vector three because it is looking for one. So the neat thing about this is this one line of code, this hittable.take hit, will cause two different functions to happen. On my brazier, it'll cause this function to happen. And on my projectile, it'll cause its take hit function to happen. If I hit play, you can see how this works. So if I swing at this brazier, we get our particle effect. But if I swing at a projectile, you can see we get a different particle effect to happen and the projectile destroys itself. Interfaces are incredibly useful to keeping your code organized, streamlined, and effective because you do not have to have a reference to everything like you do if you want to access a unique function in each script. Here all the code flows through our interface right here and then divides out to go into whichever implementation of the take hit function you have on whichever object. I hope you found this interesting. Please comment if you have any questions, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you in the next one.